Right, now on to a fly that everybody knows. Pink shrimp. It's such an easy fly to tie. I do a little twist on it, but all you need, this isn't necessary, but I do like to use it, is copper wire, any pink thread, pink dubbing that you've got confidence in, any sort of pink or clear back, four pound nylon for ribbing, and then nice hook and bead. This is a size 12 Hanak 300 and a three mil salmon pink bead. And that's all you need to tie this fly. So now I'll show you how. So beads on the hook, hooks in the vise. I take the wire and just tie it in. Now I like this because it keeps the head, get that right, keeps the head in place, but also adds a small amount of weight to the fly. And bulks the body up as well, so it does several things. So go down to about that point, and then I'll just get an old pair of scissors and snip off the wire. You can just break it off. Then come in with your thread and start tying. So start with your thread up at the top. Get your mono, tie that in. And go down, covering the wire, taking the mono to the end. Back up. Take your back, this one's got a pink hue to it, tie it in, I don't mind tying that in, just bulks up the head a bit, yeah again, make sure it sits, sits flush to the fly, so it finishes at the bottom, ready to be folded over for the back, make it nice and neat. So down to the bottom. Get your dubbing. Twist it onto your thread. Slide it up, make one turn to catch it in. Then you can tighten it nicely. Yet again, on this type of fly, I do like quite a messy dubbing, so I'm not too fussed if it starts coming undone. Because there, although it looks a mess, it'll look good in a minute. So, bring it up to the top. Bring your back up. Make sure it sits right. Put one catching turn in. Make sure everything's all right. that off and then rib it up yet again going the opposite way to the way I dubbed just to keep the body a bit tighter when you get to the top catch that off snip it off do the whip finish. A little bit of varnish at the top. And your trusty toothbrush. Get a few of the fibers out. And there you go. There's the pink shrimp. Such an easy pattern to tie and a really good point fly for winter grayling.